really need a gimbal. <laughs> Camera's bouncing all over the shop. So, welcome to Highway V in the middle of Missouri. I just left the town of Bellflower. And on Wednesday, I did 70 miles on the Katy Trail. It was all known. It was all flat. It was all familiar. I knew the route. I knew where I was going. And today, two days later, I'm doing a complete 180. New route. Not been here before. Don't know anything about it. Just sat down at my computer and plotted out a route for the day. Had to drive an hour to get here. But I wanted to try something different. And let's go on an adventure. Let's see where we go. My legs feel a little heavy after Wednesday's exertions. So, you know, that's, that's gonna be all new to me. But, uh, you know, let's see how we do today. So, about five miles in for the day. I'm gonna turn north off Highway V onto 161, heading towards Middletown. Highway V was nice, not a lot of traffic. We'll see how uh, 161 is. Maybe probably more traffic, I guess. It's funny, right? Because you think Missouri's flat. And if you're in a car, you probably think it's flat. If on a bike or on foot, you feel every single eddy and ripple in the land. It ain't flat. Oh, you probably just saw there with the editing and the GoPro just took a spill. You know, it lives and learns, don't you? First time on a proper gravel road and the GoPro case just came flying off the handlebar there. So uh, I think I'll probably just use the phone from now on. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, doing all right though, T 10 miles in for the day, which I don't know, 10 miles, whoop de do, eh? You know, to 70 on Wednesday, but uh, just again, nice to be out. It's beautiful countryside. I keep saying that. But it's quiet. Birds are chirping. Not a lot of traffic. But I was kind of worried about the big agricultural trucks that come barreling down some of these roads at 60 mile an hour. But everyone's been really real courteous. Giving me lots of space on the roads. Which is nice. But again, very, very lightly trafficked. And uh, enjoying it so far. Going to go through a, a couple of small towns like Gamma, Truxton, New Truxton. Kind of worried about water, getting water. But if push comes to shove, I, I'm sure I can knock on the door of one of these kind folk. And uh, they'll see me right. Uh, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos of uh, people doing endurance rides, especially in the UK. 
you know, and every single little town in Britain's got a, a little co-op where you can uh, fill up and, you know, buy a, buy, some, buy a sandwich and a, a bottle of Lucozade or something. Whereas here, it's, it's not so much, you know. You know, I went through Marthasville yesterday. Marthasville is a lovely little town, but the gas station there, gas station had vending machines. It wasn't a, you know, there, there was no one on duty to, to sell you anything. So, you know, you, you, you re I find that, that I've really got to plan where my water and fuel stops are going to be when I'm out and about, especially in the, the rural areas, which is predominantly where I like to ride. You know, the, there's less traffic. The traffic goes quicker out in the rural areas. They're, they're more likely to be going 55, 60 on these roads, but there's less of it. And I find that the less, is, less is better, to be honest. But yeah, nice day so far. This is the uh, little town of Buell. A slice of Americana, Americana, as they say. Oh, a little bit of tarmac. That's a cute greenhouse. So I'm not sure what road this is, but it doesn't matter because I'm turning off it, turning right onto Meadowlark, which is back on the gravel. And here we go again. It all looks the same, but it is pretty. One thing surprises me though, and it really shouldn't, but it's just how much the gravel moves under your tires you're trying to turn. I just have to remember to be a lot steadier in my steering. I'm gripping the handlebars a little more, just causing my hands to go a little more numb. Wild man, wild Americana. It won't get much more pretty a backdrop than that. Be careful, my uh, bag doesn't topple into it. Or there's a gust of wind or something. It's like a mini. Uh, Johnson Shuttons down there. <laughs> you know what, I'm a fan of the asphalt, but this is fun. I gotta be honest, I think this is fun and it's different. And I think I'm enjoying being on a, a totally new route away from my uh, stomping grounds, seeing things that are different. You know, it's, it's fantastic. I get, honestly gotta feel like I'm on an adventure. And that's what, that's what cycling should be. That's what cycling should be. You, you, you're on an adventure on your own two feet and your own two wheels. And you know, it just makes me envy those people that pack up a bunch of frame bags to throw a sleeping bag on the pannier and just disappear for weeks on end. But this'll do. Union Chapel Cemetery. They keep the uh, they keep the cemetery uh, low and pristine. Fair play to them. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Yeah, you don't give a toss, do you? I'm just another idiot on a bike, blasting past. Onward we go. Just came off, uh, turned right, uh, sorry, just turned left off Union Chapel Road. 
and the GPS said, turn left on road. So I did. I said, oh, it's asphalt again, and I'm flying down this, this road, and it's amazing how much quicker you can go on asphalt. How much less, less effort and less resistance there is. It's amazing. What a day this has been so far. What a day. Welcome to the metropolis of Gamma. Gamma, Missouri. I wonder if they've got a shop, a store. Please. Quaint little town though. I say little, I mean little. So I just turned off Highway CC. I think I'm heading south and this is Rock Road. And it is Rock Road because we're back on the gravel. Which doesn't thrill me. But just another thing I gotta get through. I am enjoying it today, liking it out here. Another new route, a bit more undulation. You know that Katy Trail's flat. You know, I think I need some hills in my legs. I need some elevation gain in my quads. This will help. Whoa! This is all right, you know. All right. Off Rock Road onto Highway DD. Rock Road was tough, very up and down, very lumpy. I said my legs need it, but uh, woo, glad to be back on the asphalt now again. But this is, this has been a different, it's been a challenge. And one thing I hope that's coming through is I'm smiling as I'm doing it. I know it's good for me. You know, it's, it's, it's a good challenge. But uh, yeah, well, great day, great day so far. Don't let anyone tell you the Missouri is flat. No, it ain't. Look at this. It's idyllic, guys. I really am falling in love in my home state again. Missouri Century Farm. Superb. I don't know what the river is. Maybe the Ovas or the Lutra. But that's pretty. And just as I stopped here, a heron took off and proceeded to fly down the river. It was absolutely beautiful. I actually passed this and saw it and thought, you know what? I need to turn around and just uh, take a video of this. Beautiful. Okay, so while I'm stood here at this beautiful backdrop, I'm just gonna enjoy it, take my helmet off a bit. My neck's not sore this time. Maybe it's because I'm moving about more in the saddle. I'm getting out of the saddle a bit more. Nice of him. I think it was probably one of the first car drivers to ever wave at me. But uh, yeah, I, th I think the fact that I'm moving about more in the saddle, having to get out of the saddle to, to climb up some of these, these uh, inclines, you know, it, it's helping me out. Um, you know, one thing about the Katy Trail it is long and flat and boring, and you don't really change your, your cycling posture. You know, you're, you're in the same position all day 
And I think the fact that I'm in and out and in and out the saddle, I'm moving about, put my hands in the drops and stuff. I think that that change, that change of position has done me some good. You know, I, I don't know what else I can do to, to stop the, uh, the neck pain I've been getting. I, I've changed my stem, I've changed my handlebars. I think the fact of the matter is, is that just for 45 years of my life, I've done no exercise. And then one day I woke up and decided, you know what, I'm gonna go cycling. And my body's just gone. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's gonna take a while for me to get used to this. So I'm gonna have to, to let my, my body get used to the fact that, you know what, this is what we do now. We get off up in the morning, we send the kids to daycare and we go for a ride on our bikes. And uh, you know, if you don't like it, that's what Tylenol's for. Truxton. Population 91. Need some water. A half a bottle left. Dogs are barking. All right, super kind lady in Truxton. Hi, gave me two bottles of water. Beautiful people. Thank you so much to, to her. And uh, she was just outside working on a motorbike. I said, hey, can I use you? Hose and she's like, well, do you want cold water? I'll get you some out of the fridge. Two cold bottles of water on the go. Heading out to Truxton now, heading to New Truxton. And then we're gonna head west, back to Bellflower. Superb day, I can't get over it. Hard day, Need much needed day for my legs. But uh, worth it. I guess, wish I'd have come out here weeks ago to these roads. Brilliant. Gravel and sand. Let's slow down. Cycling 100 on this ain't, ain't the best idea. Oh, I lost my GoPro. Super kind lady back in Truxton. Give me two bottles of cold water out of the fridge. Super nice. Again. 99.9% .9 people in the world are good, solid people. I'm telling you, I lost a bit of gravel. The incline almost did me in. Oh, that was steep. That was steep, and today, today, will be like half the length of what I did on Wednesday. But with so much more climbing, I think today was more beneficial to my fitness than what I did on Wednesday. Coming in a new Truxton. I don't know what the difference between new Truxton and old Truxton is. Not much, buddy. Not much. Whew. Glad to be back on the asphalt. Oh man, I have to get my breath back. I don't think I do enough sideways shots like this. Just so you know what I'm seeing. <clears throat> Just entered back into Lincoln County, Missouri from uh, Warren County.
Hey Carl! Don't know what road this is, maybe Holmes Road in Truxton. Back on the gravel again. That's okay, I'm feeling good, my legs feel alright. I mean, you can tell that my legs are like, what, what are we doing here? But they feel alright, I feel okay. I feel like I'm on the back stretch of this now. Not far back from Bellflower. Uh, Bellflower. But yeah, don't let anyone tell you the Missouri's flat. There's some quite wonderful views though because of it. It's funny, right? The GPS gives you some sort of false sense of reality. Like, you know the ride's coming to an end. You know you've done 40 miles, which is about 60k. You know you're heading back towards the car and you see the GPS is like a mile turn left on this road. Yeah, well that's got to be it, that's got to be the, the main road again heading back to town. So you're expecting to get off the gravel, get back on the tarmac, have an easy breezy couple of miles back to town and then you turn and bosh. Hell no, get on the stones son. So back in the city limits of Bellflower. Today was tough. A good tough. But tough nonetheless. It was good to get out and do a different route, do something totally different. But uh, yeah. I'm at 41 miles for today, 66 kilometers or so. Have a well deserved cold iced water. So, back in Bellflower. What was that? 41 miles, 66 kilometers for the day. Lots of climbing. Probably a little bit more than I thought or anticipated. When I planned the route, I didn't really look to see the surface. I knew there was a bit. I knew there was a bit of. Um, Bit of dirt road, maybe, I don't know, three, four, maybe five miles tops. I didn't expect it to be like 66, 70% dirt roads. I need to do a better job of just making sure I'm prepared for what I'm getting myself into. That said, came through it. Enjoyed it. I mean, the first bit of dirt road was maybe a novelty, you know, and, and by the 31st mile of dirt road, it was, uh, you know, it was wearing on me a little thin, but needed it. Needed that today. You know, it was it was totally the polar opposite of Wednesday. Um, on Wednesday, I, I did a the Cady Trail. It was flat. It was a known quantity. I, it was a known route. It was straight. Uh, it, it did not get me out of my comfort zone. Today was totally the opposite. It was new terrain. It was a new part of the world I'd not I'd not ridden in. It was a new route. It was new topography. It was hills. It was twists. It was turns. Um, out of my comfort zone. You know, and, and, and granted, this is this is middle Missouri. It's not, you know, I'm not riding wild through the Yukon, but still, it's, it's just another experience, another string to the bow, another another thing I, I, I know I can get through. So, uh, you know, with that, a little better route planning. I was worried about my water. Super nice lady in Truxton filled up my water bottles for me and, uh, you know, got me through. But other than that, a really good day. I didn't stop much though, you know, I rode 40 miles, probably was stopping only for 10 minutes and that was it. You know, I stopped to get water and I stopped on that bridge, you know, to, to eat my Lara bar and uh, stopped on the bridge just to take photos of the, of the water. Excellent, good stuff today. Let's do it again soon.